Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amit Sharma. Today we are going to solve another question of abstract algebra from CSIR Net November 2020. The question is from part B. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, let x be a non-empty set and px be the set of all subsets of x. On px, define two operations, star and delta, as follow. For a comma b belongs to px, a star b equal to a intersection b, and a delta b equal to a union b exclude a intersection b. Which of the following statement is true? Option one: px is a group under star as well as under delta. Option two: px is a group under star but not under delta. Option three: px is a group under delta. But not under star. Option four, Px is neither a group under star nor under delta. The following results is very essential to learn in order to solve the question. Result number one: A non-empty set G equipped with binary operation star is said to be group if it satisfies the following axiom. First is closure. For all a comma b belongs to G implies a star b belongs to G, means G is closed under star. Next is associativity. For all a comma b comma c belongs to G, we have a star b star c should be equal to a star b star c. Next is existence of identity. There exists an element which is unique. E belongs to G such that a star e. Should be equal to e star a equal to a for all a belongs to G. This e is called identity element of G. Next is existence of inverse. For every a belongs to G, there exists an element b belongs to G such that a star b is equal to b star a equal to a. B is called a inverse and this is known as inverse of a in G. Result number two. Identity element and inverse of each element of a group G is always unique. Let x is one comma two implies p x containing the element phi singleton one singleton two and one comma two. First, take binary operation star on p x, which is defined as for a comma b belongs to p x, a star b is equal to a intersection b. Now make Kelly table for p x under star. This is the Kelly table for the set p x under binary operation star. Kelly table shows that the set p x doesn't have a unique identity. Why it is so? Because phi star phi gives phi. Singleton one star singleton one gives singleton one. Singleton two star singleton two gives singleton two. And the set one comma two star set one comma two gives set one comma two. This implies p x is not a group under star. Therefore, options one and two are false. Let x be a non-empty set, which implies p x containing the element a such that a is subset of x. Now take binary operation delta on p x, which is defined as For a comma b belongs to p x, a delta b equal to a union b exclude a intersection b. Let a comma b belongs to p x, then a union b exclude a intersection b belongs to p x because a union b is a subset of x and a intersection b is also a subset of x, which implies a union b exclude a intersection b is also a subset of x, which implies a delta b belongs to p x. implies px is closed under binary operation delta let a comma b comma c belongs to px then the following venn diagram shows associativity in px under delta the first venn diagram is for a delta b delta c and second venn diagram is for a delta b and a delta c we can easily check that both are equal Let A belongs to P X, 
and phi belongs to px such that a delta phi equal to phi delta a which is equal to a for all a belongs to px here phi is the identity in px under delta since for all a belongs to px a delta a is equal to phi implies every element in px is self invertible all the four axiom of group are satisfy under binary operation delta implies px under delta is a group implies option 3 is true and option 4 is wrong hence option 3 is true thank you very much for watching my video if you like the content please do like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query comment me thank you very much Thank you.